Hello, and welcome to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, L.A. by Night, Episode 9, Black Magic. Let's meet our vampire. Hi, I'm Cynthia Marie, and I am playing Nellie G. Our special guest, Vince Casso, will join us a little later at a dramatically appropriate moment. So... Now, let's tell a vampire story. Los Angeles, but even the lateness of the hour does not dim the energy and activity of the people at Hollywood and Highland, which is where Baron Isaac Abrams, the head vampire of Hollywood, keeps his haven. And we open our scene in that haven, looking in on a private conversation. Nelly, so good of you to come. Darling, it's been ages. It's been too long. Yes, there's been quite a bit of uh, activity that's been going on. You don't say. Let's talk about some of that, but make yourself comfortable, please. Oh, of course. Should I, uh, should I have someone bring you something fresh, or are you... No, no, I'm, I'm fine. Mm, good. You look fabulous. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely fabulous. Thank you. None the worse for wear, I see, after the uh, events of the Succubus Club. Oh, dear. The oh, dear events indeed. of the Succubus Club. Whew. How did you find Victoria's little party? It was okay. It was a little bit um, underwhelming, to be honest with you. Yes. There's far too much violence in, in between my decadence for my taste, but... I guess things had to have been handled. Victor handled everything just fine. I'm surprised you went, given your recent complications with the Camarilla, but I suppose. I know Chaz has been looking for me, so I figured it might have been an opportunity to have ran into him. You wanted to find him first? Yes. How are things? between you? Uh, they're strained. Good. Glad to hear it. <laughs> he's never been one of my favorites. Well, he's never been a favorite of mine either. Mm, I think there was a time, briefly. Not anymore. As I understand it, he has been seen about town. Why, yes, yes. We actually took him to one of the crappy clubs around here. Mm -hmm. He didn't like it, which I loved. You enjoy causing Chaz discomfort, don't you? Of course. It is uh, what I live for. That's my girl. <laughs> so about Victoria's party. Yes. And that unfortunate conclusion. It's all being taken care of, although... It's going to strain the masquerade considerably. Yes, but I think that we can handle and clean up our own mess. Do you think 
she knew that's how the evening would end. Yes. I agree. That kind of demonstration is unlike the Princess Ash I know, but maybe, maybe her impending nuptials have something to do with it. Have you heard? Her pending nuptials. Oh, no. yes. The rarest of rare occasions. They're calling it the Vermilion Wedding. What? Mm-hmm. Do tell. Who, who is this to? Have you heard of a faction of kindred who call themselves the Ashira? They're from another part of the world, far to the east, and um, they're old. They've been around longer than the Camry, I dare say. But... Um, Relations have always been less than cordial. Mm. But with the times being what they are mm-hmm. and danger threatening all around, an accord has been reached. And the Camarilla and the Ashira form a pact. Oh, it's a business contract. Can you imagine Victoria Ash agreeing to be married for any other reason? Wow. Uh, they are saying it's, uh, they're saying it's true love, but... Are you sure? Because that's not what I was saying uh, that night when I was uh, canoodling with a group of uh, other individuals. She, she was right there with me. I think her motivations are largely political. Mm. But it might explain her behavior. Potentially, yes. Um, hmm. Congratulations, however, on eliminating... Dear Mr. Blaine. Well, I thank you. Although I will say that I uh, let my colleagues do the dirty work. See, mm-hmm. my outfit was way too expensive to get my hands dirty. Oh, I quite understand. <laughs> Although pushing the stake in a little bit further was quite fun. Satisfying? Very. What do you think about all that mess? Uh, Blaine and Victor, Victor and Blaine. Blah, 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 blah. There are so many other things to be uh, considering as a bigger issue rather than uh, political power play or um, property power play. There are so many things that we need to be discussing rather than just who's, you know, is bigger. What's on your top 10? It's on my top 10. Sure. You must have a hit list. Hit list of people who I want to take out or things that I want to do. Darling, there's two separate issues here. If I know you, my dear, it's both. Yes, of course. Well, see, funny enough, I had the same aspirations as Victor, but it seems that he beat me to it. Barony. Yeah. So that'll never happen, because I support you very, very much. Hmm. I appreciate that support. Perhaps I don't express it often enough or in the appropriate ways. Why do you want this, this rulership? Because I know I can make something good of it. I can make Annabelle feel safe where she's at. Be careful, Nellie. I'm going to get the impression that you actually care about her. And if I did? I'm not sure how I'd feel about that. She's intriguing, I grant you, mm-hmm. and valuable. There hasn't been a bruja with that kind of forthright passion in this city since, well, really, since McNeil led the revolt. And she can truly make a difference here. She could. She can master her temper and her desire to save everyone at all times. That's where I come in. I think you can teach her that. I think so, with some time. Maybe, you certainly have mastered the art of saving yourself. <laughs> still working on it. Feel like he's uh, still around, pulling the strings. Hmm, well he is around. Lately he's been seen in Culver City, but I don't know why. The Camarilla has interests there. They have interests everywhere, of course, but Vannevar He's brought surprisingly few kindred with him. Maybe there just weren't that many left in San Francisco. I heard. It is possible that the odds are even. I don't know yet. I have people working on that. Hmm. 
Interesting. So you aspire to barony? At some point, yes. Interesting. Why? We've been through a lot together, you and I. We have. Do you remember that La Sombra <laughs> that we took out in Venice? <laughs> yes, uh, very difficult to, to find, especially if you were using a mirror. Hmm. Not easy. Not easy at all. But you did it. I did. You remember when I gave you your first knife? Absolutely. You still have it. Yes, we've been through a lot together. Mm-hmm. What have you heard about elder kindred going away? Not a lot. Why? Hasn't reached your ears then. No. Unsurprising. Ever since the Inquisition began hunting us again, it's been difficult to get reliable news between cities. Mm-hmm. We can't just pick up the phone anymore like we used to. It's right. too dangerous. If I want to know what is happening in Chicago, for instance, it's not like I can send an email <laughs> easily. Oh, yes, I know all the rhetoric about we do what we want and every kindred is responsible for himself, mm -hmm. but the Camarilla is not entirely stupid. Those jackbooted thugs may be arrogant and obnoxious, but they're not entirely stupid. So you agree with the ivory tower, then? On the particular matter of the dangers of communicating in the old ways, or I should say, for a younger kindred, the new ways. Maybe I do. I've taken to sending correspondence more often now, trusting to couriers and messengers and... Oh, because that's not gonna get intercepted. Well, it might, but uh, not as easily or instantly as, well, as a cell phone call or a, an email. No, no, know. we just gotta get smarter with our ways. You may be right, but because of this difficulty in communication, you may be unaware that elder vampires, and yes, I use the word, the V word, are leaving. They are um, going east. There's some kind of, there's something happening. And if the rumors are true, the eldest of us have already left. Oh dear. I'm, um, I am feeling the call. It started um, several months ago, faintly, but I can feel it. You're I wake up each night and I feel an urge to to leave, to go east. I hear things. You're gonna leave us? It's not like I want to, but. The night may come soon when I wake and it's too strong and I can't resist. And if that happens on that island, I will have no choice but to go. What would happen to Hollywood? What, what about here? Well, it's funny you should ask that. I can't give it to Fiona. She's not ready. She's too full of petty vengeance. Okay. She's incredibly intelligent and giftedly efficient, but she's still got too many scores to settle, too many chips on her shoulders can't give it to Victor. He's still to prove himself. Undisputed Baron of the Valley. And yet it is done. Frankly, I wish him well of it. It's not something I wanted to um, deal with. Yeah. Especially not feeling this, this beckoning. So that leaves who? I'll need your help. 
I need to figure out what to do before that night comes and I have to go. Okay. I need you in a different way. I need you not to spy or to kill, not this time. I need you to help me make a choice. Okay. You don't have to make that choice tonight, <sighs> but soon, I think. Whatever you need. Uh, whatever I need. Loyal to the end. Always. You saved me. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be, still be stuck with, uh, oh God. I'd still be stuck with Chaz. Oh, we couldn't let that happen. All that skill and talent go to waste. Yeah. Besides, I really hate that guy. So do I. He won't leave me alone. I still want you. Mm -mm. He's trying to hold something over me. Has he got something on you? Something good? Nellie? I did something before I came down here. Well, I think we have all done things in our existences. I took care of a problem. She deserved it. You murdered somebody? Mm -hmm. Kindred? Mm-hmm. Mm. Sixth tradition, the right of destruction is reserved for the rulers among us. Where did this happen? I don't exactly remember. It wasn't until I was washing. Oh, you did it in San Francisco. Does Vannevar know that you mm -mm. killed mm -mm. in his turf? No. Well, oh, I can just see his face now. <laughs> I, I, I did worse, though. Worse? Mm -hmm. Killed somebody important? <laughs> Gosh, no, she was not important. She see? was a trophy. She was pathetic. Then... But I did her in. The pro did her in? Mm -hmm. I took everything from her. Oh, Nellie. So that's what he has over my head. And if you don't do as he asks. I cannot say that I have ever been in your position, though I have been tempted. Do you remember it? Hmm. Good, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what I hear. Like ecstasy. Oh, it's a rush. Mm. A little meal laced with a little X, some of the best. Mm -hmm. And the fear mixed in with it. Oh, it was amazing. She had it coming, I take it. Absolutely. Okay. Well, that changes things. But only if Vannevar wins. I mean, yes, if he rats you out, if he gives you up, to them. If he you'll gets be the opportunity. Their, you'll be on their list. Mm -hmm. But if he doesn't hold Praxis, he can't enforce that easily. Okay. So it is essential then that Venevar Thomas, former prince of San Francisco, never takes Praxis here. Exactly. You won't be safe at night if he does. And what Chaz holds over your head now <laughs> will be a hell of a lot worse then. Which makes the timing of this very inconvenient. So. So. Hmm. Very well. What are we to do? Well. What does he want from you? Easy, he wants me to join the Camarilla again. 
He wants me by his side. That I understand. I'm not going back to that ivory tower. Had enough, have you? Absolutely. You know, when McNeil led the revolt, we thought we were building something extraordinary here. Mm -hmm. The Anarch Free States, all the way from San Diego, north to the border, but I don't know. It's starting to sound like Tara. Yes. That was unfortunate. Was it? That she was locked up in a cage? No, that she chose to betray us. The way mm. she did. That's all taken care of now. I hope so. That is the first time I have known Jasper's plans to be compromised. It figures it was his own coterie. <laughs> yes, well. Well, I don't hold it against him, although don't tell him that. Let him worry about it for a while. Fair enough. Well, if you're not going to join the Camarilla, and Chaz isn't going to relent, do you think he'll tell? Do you think he'll give you up? If he gets the opportunity, maybe but I'm not gonna let him have that opportunity. Really? Mm -hmm. What do you plan to do about it? Same thing as Donna. Just not quite as far. Final death. Absolutely, he needs to die. Can't say as I'll miss him. Good. We're gonna fight soon, Camarilla, what's left of the Anarchs. Nines is in, Therese, Says she's with us, but I have my doubts. What's her hesitation? Business. She's all about business. Now, her sister. Her sister would be in for it. Just for the fun of it. I like her spirit. Jeanette? She's a vicious, vicious killer. So I've heard. But Therese is more pragmatic. And if she thinks she can hold on to what she's got in Santa Monica, and yet... Let the Camarilla have some token territory. She might cut a separate piece, make a deal. Victor, I think we all know where he stands. Mm-hmm. So, and there are three or four barons of what? Their sofas. <laughs> Hardly worth the vitae it took to make them. So the odds aren't great, but if Anavar's court is as small as I think it might be. Mm -hmm. Taking out even Chaz would hurt him. Absolutely. So, a new project. Yes. Count me in. Excellent. In the meantime, how are you? I worry. Why? You have been somewhat distracted lately. Well, you did give me a new fledgling to deal with. Annabelle. You've dealt with students before. Yes, but not like her. That different? Very. She's very strong. Not just in brute strength. She's very strong up here. Her will, yes. Is she learning? Yes. It's taking a moment. Mm-hmm. But yes, she is learning. You think she'll make it? I have high hopes, but there are hard lessons that are going to be coming to her that could break her. Who's she, uh, who's she hanging out with? To be honest, I really don't know. I mm. mean, she... Hangs with us most of the time. She's on her phone 24-7, just like any other millennial would be. She uses Spotify a lot. She's into music? Yeah. Well, then putting her with your coterie maybe was a good idea then. <laughs> hmm. 
And what about Victor? Oh. How is he after his victory over Bobby Blaine? Well, happy as a clam. But um, honestly, I haven't spent too much time with Victor after all of that. I kind of um, secluded into my my own world. It um, there's a lot of fire. I was yeah, I heard. Really terrifying. I, I vaguely remember just walking away, um, saying goodbye to Victoria, and the rest of us hopped in the car and rushed home because that was just that was a lot to take in with fire. A little much. Yes. I declined the invitation. I didn't think you'd be there, but I didn't realize that Blaine would be either, so I missed out. Yes. Now, more importantly, hmm. what'd you wear? <laughs> Let me tell you, I designed it all myself. It was a navy blue off the shoulder dress, it dipped just a little bit low. These jewels I had made from my new line. Oh, it's fantastic, protege. And the crown, you should have seen the crown dripping, dripping in rubies. Oh, it was spectacular. I think I actually outdid Victoria Ash herself. Ooh, I'm sorry I missed that. I bet she didn't like that one bit. Probably not. She did ask me where I got things, though, which, of course, why would I ever get something from retail when I can make it myself? How is your business? Fantastic. Good. Yes. We're expanding to a perfume line and a jewelry line coming up. What are you going to call these things? Oh, it's going to be a surprise to you. We'll drop it on one of those social media things. I've asked Victor to help me out with that. I think that, the, what's it called? A... Um, Sounds like a bird. Um, the tweetogram thing? That! Yes. Yeah, I don't use it. Well, younger kids enjoy it, and I think it's probably a great marketing uh, scheme to put it, yes, but. All right, fine. I can't hold a secret. The perfume? Arachnophoria. Arachnophoria? Yes. Oh, that'll sell. <laughs> like it. It's good. It's good. Julie the Lion, we're still working on it, so I'll I'll keep that a secret. Speaking of beautiful things. Yes. How did your meeting with Miranda go? Did you just call her more beautiful than me? I called her beautiful. I don't believe I used a qualifier. There is no one more beautiful than you. Thank you. Exactly. Twitter is a Way hotter than Setites. Well, of course. Well, who said we weren't? Ha! Huh, Victor? Wow, I need to make a note. You should take his barony away because of that. Sheesh. Nah, then I'd have to run the valley again. That's fair. Yeah, I just... All right, fine, fine. Um, Miranda is fantastic. She um, was such a delight. I think uh, Annabelle kind of took a liking to her. I feel terrible about her club, though. We did strike a really good uh, bargain and ally with her, but we did find two FBI investigators there. Inquisitors, hunters? Yes. It's the rumor. But there was only two, easily taken out. So they're gone. Yeah, I, uh, I heard that the, uh, the feds are uh, looking for them, so I would imagine that either they died in the blaze or Miranda took care of it. Might be worth checking in with her soon. I well, think yeah. she could be a um, good ally to you, but be careful. They may call themselves the ministry these nights, but you know what they really are and you know what they're all about. Yes. Not that much has changed. Rebranding. Rebranding. Yeah. Hmm. I can feel it. I can feel it, Melly. I know. I don't want to go. I don't want you to go. Is there anything I can do to help? Yes. Start thinking about what to do with this. I have to believe that if I do give in to the beckoning, it won't be forever. I would like this to be here when I get back. I hope so. I'll do my best. All right. I appreciate our chat. Of course. I have a meeting. 
I have to say goodnight. Fair enough, I was gonna go check on one of my stores anyways. The flagship across the way? But of course. Saw the lines the other night. Oh yes? Yeah, those midnight reveals of yours. Well, Smart. we're about to have one tonight, so. Okay. Have a good night. Good night, Nellie. You know the way out. Mm -hmm. You make your way out into Hollywood and Highland, a multi-story complex of shops, restaurants, bars, and people. All the beautiful, delicious, vibrant people. It's a thrill to be out there with them. It always is. Yes. The rush never gets old. Mm. You make your way to the mezzanine level of the complex, and there, the piece de resistance of the entire floor, mm. your flagship, your fashion clothing retail empire, Thorn. You're greeted like royalty, of course. There are cameras, cell phones. Mm. People want to stop and ask you questions get your reaction to what they're wearing. Is Brad around by any chance? Oh, Brad is exactly where he was told to be. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I just and keep walking. <laughs> he finds you. <sighs> hey, Nelly. Hi, Brad. Hi. How are you? You look, you look, I don't have the words. Aww. You look. I look what, darling? Perfect. Go on. Perfectly perfect. I'll take it. Okay, okay. Are you feeling okay? Absolutely. Yeah. It's uh, all the preparations are going along well. Uh, I, think the, I think the reveal is going to be fantastic. I think so. I mean, arachnophoria. Right? It's amazing. It's so clever. I had, I had such a great intern come up with that name. It was fantastic. So... But you know where the back room is at, right? Yeah. Perfect. I'll meet you there in 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, excuse me. Good. Uh, he excuses himself. Everything is as it should be. Your employees are doing what they are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. The uh, retail display for the new perfume looks exactly as you instructed. The clerks, of course are eager to please Excellent. and want to make sure that everything is as you want it. Great. There is one small problem, and that is the gift with purchase didn't come out exactly as you intended. So they're not sure what to do. It doesn't really measure up to thorn quality. Excuse me. You want to talk to your manager? Yes, immediately. She, she, uh, she rushes out of the uh, storage area, clipboard in hand, a little out of breath. <sighs> hi, ha. Oh, hi, Miss, uh, Miss G. Hi, how are hi, you? Good darling. evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Yeah, uh, we're getting ready. It's, uh, it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, how are you feeling about it? Well, um, 90%. 90%. 90? What's wrong with the 10%? Um, the, the gift with purchase, the gift bags, the... Yeah, the, what the fuck is that? Yeah, it's, they're just not right. The, the bracelets... Obviously. The bracelets, the, they're supposed to be teasing your new, your new jewelry line. Uh-huh. Just, I mean, we'll look. She uh, reaches over and grabs one of the bags, opens it up. Mm. Ugh, I, like, grabbed the bracelet. This is... What is this? I, I'm sorry, they came that way. This looks like something out of, like, I don't know, just... Claire's or something. Well, we're not sure what to do. It's what we've got. Um, store credit. Um, Collect them all. We're going to hand them out as door prizes. Um, first 10 people get into the store 10 minutes early with the bracelet on. Got it. I'll get it done. Perfect. Thank you. She excuses herself and uh, busies herself carrying out your instructions. Excellent. Good. Hmm. I'm happy with this. Yeah. Okay. Pick up the bottles. 
smell a couple of them. They're right on target, I think. The smell is exquisite. Memorable, and like nothing else on the market. Excellent. Maybe it's something about the smell. Wits and aspects, please. Maybe it's the scent, something familiar, something pulling at the back of your mind. Oh, wow. <laughs> Four successes. Four successes. Yeah. The world fades. Becomes indistinct. And there, outside the store windows, looking in at you is that shape, that white, pale, ghostly figure in the long flowing dress staring at you. Mm. Mm. No. No? No, she, no. No. She's still, still there. Okay. We'll go towards the window. Move towards the window, looking out into the night. You can see her, the transparent features, defying detail, but it's there. She's there. You can see that her hair is long and her dress is old. And she seems as though she's trying to form words and speak to you. Hello? I'm gonna try to like wave. <laughs> <laughs> you wave at her? She nods, she can see you. She can perceive you and she waves back. Okay. She looks hopeful. Um. And that's when you notice her face. The high cheekbones, the full lips, big eyes. It's a little like looking at a mirror. The shock of that realization yanks you back to yourself. <gasps> and when you blink, she's not there. But <sighs> someone else is. Coming through the back of the store, he must have entered through the back room is a young man wearing a blue tie and a kind of a stained hoodie. His features are a little pale and wan. He looks like he hasn't slept in a while. He is walking in your direction, paying no attention to the store display. He doesn't look familiar to you. Hello. <clears throat> Melly G. Oh, hi. I'm not a hard girl to find. Excuse you? My name is Special Agent Greg Dimitrios. Could we talk in private for a second? Well, that depends. What is it exactly you want to talk about? I got an offer to make you, but if you don't mind, I'd like to discuss it in private. Fine. Well, let's go to the back room. All right. Out in the front, the store manager and the employees are still busy carrying out your instructions, taking the bracelets outside the store, Good. handing them out to the people who are beginning to line up in anticipation of the midnight opening. Excellent. Yes. In the back room, Brad, of course, is still there. Hey, uh, dude. You found her. Uh, he said he was looking for you. Thanks, Brad. No, don't mention it, no problem. Brad, why didn't you tell me? Well, you were busy. You were looking out the window or something. I thought you saw somebody. I don't know, I didn't want to interrupt you. Brad, you have one job. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry, baby, I'm sorry. Um, should I go? 
Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'll go help. <gasps> he uh, makes a beeline for the front of the store, shutting the storeroom door behind. <gasps> and now you are alone. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> Let's get this out of the way first. I pull open my jacket. Mm -hmm. I reach in, pull out an automatic pistol, drop it, pull out a handmade steak carved out of a, a Louisville slugger bat, drop it, pair of handcuffs. The gun, the steak, and the handcuffs all clatter as they hit the f carpeted floor of the storeroom. Look, I don't like this any more than you do right now. This is not where I want to be. But I'm in a bit of a bind, and I feel like maybe, maybe there's something that we can do for each other. Um, I'd like to activate rapid reflex. Yes. Uh, take out my knife. You're going to remove the wicked sharp knife that the Baron gave you? Mm-hmm. His uh, latest special gift? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna rush up to him, knife around the neck here. Before you can move faster than your eyes can follow her, she is no longer standing in front of you, and instead she has a long stiletto-like knife pressed against your throat, and you can feel the cold, sharp prick of the edge of the blade <laughs> barely cutting into your skin. You know that if she <clears throat> pushes, it is over. A bargain? All right, yeah, listen. <sighs> We've been at each other for a little bit here. Have we? Yeah, you met a couple of my associates before at that fucking cabaret. <sighs> There's only supposed to be two of you. Yeah, I don't know where you guys got that from. We've I been like at press a little tighter yeah. on that one. <laughs> You've drawn a little bead. Crimson blood. Mm. It smells delicious. Okay, take it easy for a second. Let me explain. You know about my division. You know the Bureau's been after you guys for a while. We've been down here working in LA for some time. We tracked you down. We got all the information on you guys. We thought we had a handle on it. Clearly we did not. The operation in the cabaret was not supposed to go like that. I haven't heard from Wilson or Jankowski for a week now. I thought, the, I thought the fire might give them a way to get out, but the whole thing just went to shit. Now, I got nothing. I got nothing left. I got no equipment. The money dried up. I can't go back to the Bureau. We haven't been straightforward with them for a while. I've got nothing. I'll let go. You uh, <clears throat> lower the knife? Mm-hmm. Puck. She nicked you barely. A little bit of blood. So. Nelly, you are at one hunger. Yes. It's not enough blood to require a rouse check, but your beast pays attention. Your eyes focus on that little drop of crimson. And you think for a moment about how good it would taste. Mm. All right, deep breaths. Stay with me here. So look, I'm alone. I've got nothing. No one we've been working with, our network, everything has just fucking fallen apart now. So I need some of this heat to come off me. It's not gonna be long before they realize they're looking for the wrong name. It's not gonna be long before they realize there was one more agent out there. And I don't wanna be around when that happens. So what I'm asking for is this. You want me to kill you? In a manner of speaking, I need people to believe the problem has been taken care of. I need people to believe all the FBI agents are dead or disappeared or whatever you want to do. But I need the heat taken off of me so I can lay low for a while and not die in the street like a fucking rat. Well, I can have you die here in my warehouse or in the you back could. room. You could. 
Um, amongst beautiful fashion. How's that? That is option A. Put that right there. Uh, but uh, I, I have an alternative. And uh, I, I realize this is not a very compelling offer with me showing up empty-handed. So I'm not going to ask for a freebie here. What I am offering you is this. I don't know what kinds of political shit you blanks get up to. I, I don't know how it all works back there. But I, I got a lot of friends on the LAPD. I got a lot of friends in the Glendale cartels. A lot of guys who owe me a lot of favors. And I can tell you, if you can take Victor, if you can take all these guys off my fucking back for a while, convince them that I'm not a problem, I'm going to owe you a big favor. And I can do something for you. I don't know if you need muscle. I don't know if you need influence. I don't know what I can do, but... What makes you think that I need anything from you? I don't know. It's all that I got. I'm at my last fucking wit here. This is my last option. Is this or try and continue living in a box until Victor or somebody tracks me down, and I'd rather not have that. This way, maybe, I was hoping you'd be reasonable. I, I'm not going to bring this to one of them. I don't trust them. They're going to rip my fucking head off and drain me. And you don't think I'd do that? I think you might, but I think that you can be reasoned with. I think that you can understand the mutual benefit. Something that we'd both stand to gain here. You, you see the bigger picture. I'm going to push him up against the wall. <laughs> Gently or hard? In the middle. In the middle. Uh, just, medium, medium uh, force. So <clears throat> she shoves you backwards until your shoulders touch the wall of the... Okay, okay, okay. And I nuzzle up against you, your chin. <sighs> She's cold. Beautiful, but cold. So you're gonna offer me something. I don't want just something. I want many things. Okay, well. So if I save your ass. If you save my ass. You're gonna be running around like my little monkey in my circus. So you choose. I step back. Step away from him? Mm hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. I'm gonna kiss him up the cheek and then step back. Oh, those beautiful, cold lips trace a line along your throat, along your jawbone, your cheek. But I have a couple of questions for you before I do that. Okay. Tell me. You said you have nothing left. You're not married? No. No kids? Not that I'm aware no of. No girlfriend? I've been a little busy. No to boyfriend? Be no, uh, no. All alone. No parents? Uh, yeah, back home. I but why? Because if I kill you and make it look like you're dead, I don't want people on our asses. Or did you not think about that, Mr. Investigation FBI person? Okay, there's a, there's a handful of ways to make somebody disappear. But no, now that you're asking, no. I, I've only got a, an aging mother back home in Massachusetts, but that's it. I, I don't have any family here in LA, no girlfriends or boyfriends. No siblings, that's, that's all that I got. Because if I do this for you and they come knocking on my door, I am not going to hesitate to take out your aging mother. Fair enough. What can I say? I, th I, this is my only option. This is all that I've got. It's this or wait for one of the other ones to off me. So, yes, I'll deal with that. It's actually not a bad idea. Okay, which one's not a bad idea? Did the others offering you, but I guess we'll stick with this plan. There's a knock on the storage room door, and you hear Brad's voice on the other side. Hey, Nelly, are you okay? Not All right. now, Brad. Right, right, not now. <clears throat> you uh, uh, just shout if you need anything. Of course, darling. You two have a great thing going. I like that dynamic. It's, it's good. Yeah. It, mm. So, I'm gonna save your ass. I put my knife away. Put the blade away. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna need to be convincing. Cause one, 
There is one other caveat. There is one other detail. The Bureau has already gotten really suspicious with the fire over at the club. Mm -hmm. They're looking into those deaths. They know that I'm still out here and that I haven't made contact. I can't promise that heat's not gonna continue on for a bit. But again, all we gotta do is distance this from you. I'm just coming to you to help me orchestrate this. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to tie back to you. It doesn't have to come back to you. It just help me pull the strings so all the other ones think that there's no more FBI threat anymore, no more issue, and I'll work with you. Okay. Okay. Have you ever entered a contract with a vampire kindred? Blake, nope. as you call us? Nope, this is brand new to me, and I'm very just thrilled about it, so. Great. <clears throat> I cut open my finger. Oh, fucking hell. With that long, sharp nail, or uh, with your little finger knife? My finger knife. So you slice your fingertip, and you will the vitae to the surface of the skin. It beads up in a dark crimson droplet. So this is how I seal a deal. Drink it. Oh, fuck. Just a little taste. It's good, actually. It's not bitter at all. It's mm. sweet. Like, um, oh, not unlike honey. In fact, maybe better than honey. Not at all what you were expecting. Oh, okay. What's, what's gonna happen now? Am I gonna... You don't have long to wait. When you look at Nellie, you can see that um, maybe you were a little wrong to be hesitant about this bargain. This idea may be the best idea you've ever had. She's, she's going to help you. She's okay. You feel maybe in time you could be friends. All right. Okay, good. Great. I think that went pretty well. I think so. So your first task is to um, stay hidden. So you're going to be back here the whole time while my opening is happening. All right. And then we'll discuss where you reside so that you're um, not seen by anyone. Got it? Yeah, I think that'd be for the best. Good. I'll actually have Brad escort you somewhere. Oh, good. Instead of staying here, I feel bad, and people will be coming in and out. Yeah, that would be weird. Yeah. But this is a, I mean, a great partnership. I'm, My darling, oh darling ghoul. I'm thrilled for the prospect. Hmm. <sighs> Brad! A moment later, the uh, door opens, and Brad uh, steps in. Uh, he's freshly combed his hair, and tidied his jacket a little bit. He looks at Gregory suspiciously. Y y yes, baby? Is it possible that you can show Gregory here um, to my new home? Um, and, and let's feel this? Yes. We're going to have fun tonight, baby. Did also, Greg is fine. Just Greg. Just Greg. Did yeah, no, Greg, just Gregory. Did, my mom calls me Gregory. So Gregory. Did, okay. Did I do something wrong, baby? You didn't. We're just gonna have a little bit of fun with Gregory over here. Oh God, okay. We, both of us, fun. Okay. Good. Okay. okay. Meet me at my yeah. place. Yes, And yeah. I will be there shortly. Hey, um, uh, Greg, um, my car is in the garage. You wanna? Wanna go? Yeah, okay. Stay yeah. hidden. Okay. See Go you, uh, car. you don't want me to stick around for the, the big, the, the opening? No, 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 I'm not gonna trouble you with that. Besides, okay. surprise me when I get home. Okay, okay. Hey, come on, we gotta go. Okay. 
Bye, Gregory. Yeah, bye. Brad leads Gregory away, out the door of the shop, through the throng of customers who are waiting impatiently to get in, start buying. That's when you notice Baron Abrams also standing outside, patiently among the crowd waiting to get in. He's got a bouquet in his hand. <laughs> there are roses, the long stem ones you like. He looks amused, like he hasn't done this in a while. <laughs> I'm going to go out towards him. You open the door. Mm -hmm. Your employees have to keep people out who want to try to rush in and get in early. That's fair. He smiles and steps in, <laughs> shutting the door behind him. Yes. Dolly. Hi, darling. These are for you. Oh, thank you. I hand them to like one of the. Go put it in a face. Right away, right away, Miss G. Thank you. This looks splendid. Thank you. Arachnophoria. Yes. Brilliant. Thank brilliant. you. Brilliant. I applaud. Ugh, my intern Courtney, she's just so brilliant. Wasn't that your, uh, wasn't that your, uh, <clears throat> special friend leaving? Yeah. Don't worry about that. Everything okay? He had, a, he had somebody with him. Uh, just another fan that wanted to talk about some work that I've done, and so I just rushed them off to him. Don't worry about it. What a burden. I know. Yeah. Well, I hope you don't mind me dropping in. Not at all. I am nearby after all. I thought uh, we would uh, experience the uh, opening together, and uh, then if you're not busy, maybe a quick bite. I would love that. Maybe a longer bite. Ooh. It's tempting. If you don't have other plans. I don't. I didn't think you would. <laughs> well... Shall we? We shall. He offers you his arm. Put on the sunglasses. <laughs> Moments later, the door is open, and another success story for the Thorn fashion line begins. Mm. The story that we've just shared with you is over for now, but it will continue in season two. Now, let's check in with the entire coterie. A few nights later, Griffith College. Not everything that you're about to see will make sense yet, but we'll run this scene at the end of every epilogue so that when you've seen them all, it will. And if you don't like spoilers, maybe skip ahead to the end now. End of the week, huh? Actually, I guess we haven't all gotten back together since the Succubus Club and that whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about that. Anybody want to say anything? Mm. Anyone? No? Well, I talked to Baron Abrams, and it's been covered up. Just some sort of ecstasy issue. Um, but the masquerade is still intact. Typical. Well, I guess while we're talking cleanup, uh, Eve and I took care of the rest of the Blaine gang. Uh, his associates, mortals, his businesses, all of it erased. We have burned out all memory of Blaine from Los Angeles. Typical. Where is Eve? You had a new driver coming in. She's, um, she was uh, called away. A uh, new opportunity. Oh. oh, darling, did you do something? I mean, did I do something? Like, did I do something to make her leave? No. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> oh, that's real funny, huh? Well, what'd you do this week, Sasper? <laughs> I explored my labyrinth, found a magic mirror, so nothing particularly special. Oh, yeah, just mundane stuff. And nothing else. No further questions. Did you 
check in on the, the things? No comment. Well, I did something. I found the last of the hunters. The Inquisition? How can it be the last of them? Well, uh, less Inquisition, a little more misguided federal agents. See, there were three of them that traveled to Los Angeles and we took care of the two. Um, but I happened to take out the last one. What? Gregory Demetrios, what do you mean you took care of him? Must I be so gauche? I addressed it, removed it, k killed it. Typical. <sighs> you well, know what, just don't even start with me. Well, if that's true, if the Inquisition is off the board, then we're pretty much ready, because I've done some homework, and the Valley is definitely ready for some new vampire blood, and I've put some things in motion to really make sure that we can hold this place, and if what you say is true, and there's no more Inquisition, then we are ready to go. Okay. Um, I took care of Isaiah, he's safe. Uh, I got some people on Mark, he's also good. Did you? She's not gonna be a problem. You said that This before. time is different. I took care of it. She's gone. Well, then we're set. We're all good? All good. Oh, I did something. I released a new fragrance line. Get this. It's called Arachnophoria. Oh. Ah! <laughs> what? Arachnophoria what? tastes the spider. Where do you... Who tells you these things are okay to do? My interns. Wait, no, I've got it. You'll have him climbing up the walls. Oh, God, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's mean. Come that on. That is uniquely it's... bad. <laughs> just... Not as tacky as your suit. You only get snippy when you know I'm You know right. what? Me just now. Oh, which reminds me, I punched a cougar. How old was she? No, not. <sighs> That's that, that, it is that kind of week. Mm-hmm. Actually, um, I may have fucked something up. And this is where our story ends for now. Thank you very much for joining us for our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, L.A. by Night.